So ask yourself, all right, how might you move closer towards a 10 this week? I say this thing on my podcast all the time. I say, you don't get it better by consuming, you get better by acting. You guys know this, like you have incredible webinars put on by uh, Aaron and, um, and Chris and like all of these great speakers, right? And just listening to it is the first step, right? But if that it's not true, like knowledge and experience and power is great, but when you get out there and you start taking action on it, that's really where you see yourself not only growing, but excelling and learning from that, all right? So how might you move closer to a 10 this week? So no matter what your level is, I wanna hear it. How are you gonna do that? What are some things you're gonna do? What are some things that like maybe have like been staring you in the face going, you know what, you should try to do this, but you kind of have hesitated on it. You had a little bit of lack of self-confidence, right? And then maybe this week is the week that you step into it, right? Maybe this week is you the, week, the day you take one step towards it. I'm not saying you gotta build the whole thing. I'm just saying like take one step towards it, one step towards the next thing because that's how evolution works, right? Now, what area of your life will you benefit the most from having more self-confidence? So what area of your life will you benefit the most from having self-confidence? Self-confidence is one of those things, guys. It goes with us everywhere, all right? It's not something I know some people are like, hey, you can have your work and you can leave it there and then you can have your personal life, you can leave it here. Well, there's one universal thing that people forget when, they, when they're talking about that. And that's like you and your brain goes to everything, right? And so when you have this level of self-confidence, will it help you on duty? Yes. Will it help you in your personal life? Yes. Will it help you with your personal fitness? Yes. Will it help you with the connection with your kids? Yes, because the people who are self-confident, they just hold themselves higher. They set bigger goals. They get more excited. They know the vision and the area that they're heading to. And when they're able to do that, it's something that flows through everything of their life, all right? But I want you to really think about like, what's the biggest, the area of your life right now that will make the biggest impact if you leaned into self-confidence? And how will others benefit from your self-confidence? Self-confidence is contagious, guys. So is your thoughts, your beliefs, your actions, all those kind of things. I mean, there's a reason why I hang out with people like uh, Aaron and Chris is because when I hang out with people like that, it gets me to raise up my expectations and literally everything, like what they're saying, what they're doing, all of that stuff is contagious. Sometimes I actually feel like I'm in the wrong room. Like when I get into a room and... Um, let's say I have a multi six figure business and I get into a room of a million dollar business owner. Sometimes I feel like, oh man, I'm in the wrong room. And then I remind myself, this is what it's supposed to be like. When I surround myself with other people who are like this, when I surround myself with people who value this, when I surround myself with other people who are getting after it, who are developing self-confidence, it makes it so much easier for me to do that too. All right. So who in your life will benefit the most from you doing the hard things in front of them? Remember the first step, I taught this inside of our, um, inside of the course, inside of the JCH um, uh, course that, that uh, Aaron was talking about a little bit earlier, but like the first step of taking, of, of leadership is you modeling the behavior. When you model the behavior, when you do something uncomfortable and then you share it with them, I share this with my kids all the time. Like, hey guys, like I just had a webinar with 1,022 people who were registered and I was like super nervous and I got on and I did it and I stumbled a little bit and I did this, but I had a really great time and I think the people really, really did enjoy it. And my kids are like, what, dad, you're, like you've done this before. Like what, why, why are you having this? Because I wanna show them that I'm willing to feel the fear and do it anyway. It's the greatest opportunity you have every time that you have that feeling of fear and you step up and you do it anyway, all right?